So if you're a seller and you have a buyer that cannot close on the day of closing, you definitely need to speak to your lawyer for legal advice. You need to understand why they cannot close. Is it something that they just need additional time? Or is it a situation where someone's lost a job, no bank will give them any money? So for example, if you're in a situation where uh, you're in a market where you don't know which way it's going, the market might go down a little bit, or you're worried if you can get the same purchase price, you wanna try and keep that deal alive. So in the first example where someone's asking for a week extension, you wanna grant them that extension. You wanna unlock the deposits, making them non-refundable. You wanna to try to get more deposit in order to lock them in even harder um, so that you have their money and you can actually use it to ensure that you're not paying any out-of-pocket expenses for your mortgage, property taxes, legal fees, etc. If it's a situation where the individual just simply cannot close and there's absolutely no money period, um, a lot of times it just depends on the market. So if you can resell for more money, take a little bit of a mutual lease and take some of their deposit, you win, right? But if the market's going the opposite direction, just be very, very mindful. You may not want to give them a mutual lease uh, because it, it minimizes your options. So really speak to your lawyer. It's a case by case scenario um, and there are options for you. You may not like them, but there's always options. Buy and sell the easy way at realestatelawyers.ca